Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this video, we are going to understand the concept of bull market and bear market. It's very simple and straightforward. I'm sure you must have seen these terms in news and social media and all. So you might know a little bit, but let's just say that you don't know anything and let's understand. See, it's really simple. Bull market and bear market are just two different ways of saying how the stock market is performing in a country over a sustained period of time. Okay, that's what uh, you know these terms are used for. Bull market is a situation when stock market is doing really well, share prices are continuously going up. Okay, and bear market is the opposite situation where share prices are continuously falling over a sustained period of time. It's not like today if the share price has gone up, then immediately you cannot say that it's a bull market situation. No, 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 it's not like that. It has to be over a sustained period of time, few weeks, months, years, like that. Okay, see here. If the stock market index is going up, during a particular time period, sustained time period, okay, sustained time period, specifically more than 20% from recent lows, yeah, if you want to be technical, then it's 20%, yeah, it is referred to as the bull market, okay, and complete opposite situation is bear market. If the stock market index is going down during a particular time period, specifically more than 20% from recent highs, it is referred to as the bear market. Okay, so these are opposite situations. Now let's understand the characteristics of bull and bear market. See the characteristics of bull market are strong demand and weak supply. What does that mean? It means that there are many investors in the stock market who are ready to buy the securities, buy the shares, but there are very few investors who are ready to sell their shares. This situation is called as strong demand and weak supply. Many people want to buy but there are very less people who wants to sell okay so because of this what will happen because of this prices will go even higher because there is strong demand and weak supply right and then the second point see here high investors confidence what does that mean high investor confidence means the investors are thinking very highly of the stock market they are ready to put their money into the stock market why is that so because they are seeing that the prices are shooting up and they expect that prices are gonna go even higher and they will be making huge profits uh, you know by selling it at the later date okay so that's high investors confidence because of this what will happen there will be more inflow in the stock market yeah many people will inv invest and then the third point see robust economic environment what do you mean by robust economic environment in this scenario it means you know there is very less unemployment companies are making huge profits okay and then the third thing is sufficient disposable income is there with the people what is disposable income disposable income is uh, you know the income that is left after paying their expenses and taxes and everything so if they have sufficient uh, disposable income then they will spend it yeah they will spend it on luxurious goods or whatever it is so if they spend high then of course the companies will be making profits so it's all connected okay and then inflation will also be less Right, so that's robust economic environment. Overall, the economy is doing really well, the GDP is good, everything is good. So that's bull market characteristics. And then we have bear market, which is exactly opposite. See here, strong demand and weak supply now. Here see, weak demand and high supply. Prices are continuously falling. The entire market sentiment is negative. If it is negative, then of course, everyone will be willing to sell the shares, sell the shares and get out of the market. Just take their cash and run away, right? That's the, you know, the sentiment in the bear market. So weak demand and high supply. Everyone wants to sell, so that's high supply. No one wants to buy, no one wants to invest. So that's weak demand. And then see the second point, low investor confidence. Everyone are scared. Yeah, there is a pessimistic situation in the uh, stock market. Low investor confidence. No one wants to put their money into the stock market and make a loss. Because everyone are thinking, see, prices are falling. If I invest over here, then I will make a loss. Yeah. If I invest over here, then I will make a loss. So this kind of situation will be there. Low investors confidence and then poor economic environment. Yes, poor economic environment. Right now we can see this. Right now bear market is going on in India, in US, everywhere. Right now in the US there is a recession going on. Isn't it? So it's a poor economic environment. Okay, low GDP, high inflation. Yeah, right now we can see because of supply chain problem, because of COVID and all these uh, reasons, what's happening? There's high inflation going on. Yeah and then uh, high unemployment and then uh, insufficient disposable income all these are the reasons of poor economic environment fine 
so these were the characteristics of bull market and bear market now after all this discussion i'm sure you must be wondering why are we using the names of these two animals bull and bear why not cat and dogs see it's really simple the famous theory is that it's just about the way they attack bull swipes up with its horns when it attacks and bear swipes down with its paws when it attacks okay bull and bear prices are increasing prices are falling swipes up swipes down okay you get the point simple now let's understand few examples of the bull market and the bear market okay first let's talk about the bear market example see here the first example is the great depression which happened in 1929 in usa and because of that there was a great fall in the stock market see here this is the you know the stock market index of usa snp 500 okay this graph from 1926 to 2019 over here so see the great depression over here this orange thing is the bear market situation you see the fall it lasted for 2.8 years okay the bear market right so that's the great depression of 1929 in usa and then we have 2000.com crash yeah the crash which happened in usa because of the uh, because of the internet companies right so see here it's 2000 right so 2000 see here, 2000 bear market 2000 bear market it lasted for 2.1 years right and then the third is 2007 to 2008 financial crisis or you can also say housing crisis which happened in usa and the bear market at that time lasted for 1.3 years yes and then fourth is covid 19 i don't have the data over here in covid 19 also there was a crash okay but quickly we recovered and then again right now also the prices are falling so they are saying that right now it's a bear market okay so that's the examples of usa now let's just see what happened because of this in india in india if you see of course in the great depression it's not there uh, dot com crash there was an impact see here in the dot com crash 2000 there was a bit impact over here and then 2007 to 8 financial crisis see here you see the bear market and then covid 19 because of COVID-19, you all know there was a crash. You can see this in the chart. Yeah, 2019 to 20, there is a crash in the Sensex. Yeah, fine. So that's the bear market example. You saw that. Now come to the bull market. Now in the bull market, if we talk about USA, then let me just show you all these blue things you see now. These are the bull market situation. Okay, bull market situation when the prices are continuously rising for a sustained period of time. Sorry. Okay, you got that, right? The biggest bull run recently in USA is from 2009 to 2019. Okay, see here, 2009. That is, you know, right after the uh, the financial crisis. Right after the financial crisis, what happened? There was a bull run. Okay, bull run for 10.8 years. You see, right. So that's the bull run of USA, recent bull run. And then the second is regarding the India. See, regarding India, uh, from 2003 to 2008. Yeah, 2003. See, 2003. To 2008 then what happened after 2008 financial crisis in us because of that there was a bear market okay and then december 2011 to march 2015 in india december 2011 yeah from here to 2015 there was a bull run and then again there was a crash over here right so that's all you saw the examples you got this right it's really simple and straightforward nothing complicated stock market is doing really well stock market is doing really bad okay that's it for this video see you in the next video 